Arcadia, the retail empire owned by Sir Philip Green and family, has become one of the biggest business casualties of the COVID-19 pandemic to date. On Monday the business filed for bankruptcy in London, following a weekend of speculation that Green's companies were on the brink of collapse. A statement from accounting firm Deloitte, which is handling the bankruptcy or administration, as it's called in the UK, confirmed that Arcadia which includes over 400 branches of retailers under the brand's top shop Topman, Miss Selfridge, Burton, Dorothy Perkins, Evans and Wallace will now work with Deloitte to assess all options and protect the business from its many creditors while it seeks potential buyers. This is an incredibly sad day for all of our colleagues as well as our suppliers and our many other stakeholders, said Ian Grabiner, Arcadia's CEO, in a statement. Throughout this immensely challenging time our priority has been to protect jobs and preserve the financial stability of the group in the hope that we could ride out the pandemic and come out fighting on the other side. Ultimately, however, in the face of the most difficult trading conditions we have ever experienced, the obstacles we encountered were far too severe. At this point, the fate of Arcadia's 13,000 employees remains unclear. More than 9,000 of the company's workers have already been furloughed. There was no 11th hour deal this time for Green, whose retail empire has limped through the pandemic as more nimble, online brands like ASOS and Boohoo have won over Topshop's once loyal army of young shoppers. Fellow retail billionaire Mike Ashley reportedly offered Arcadia $66 million in emergency funding on Sunday. But, according to Ashley's Fraser's group, the offer was declined. Instead, Green may be hoping to find a rescue deal that will allow him to keep control of the most valuable assets in the empire, like Topshop. The slow decline of Arcadia, which started long before the pandemic, will not have an immediate effect on Green's net worth. Forbes estimates he and his wife Christina Green to be worth $2.3 billion, even after U.S. private equity investment firm Leonard Green sold its 25% stake in Topshop for just $1 in 2019. Last year, UK retail veteran Richard Hyman told Forbes that Arcadia was worthless beyond the clearance value of its stock. Luckily for the Greens, the lion's share of their wealth stems from a $2.1 billion, £1 .2 billion pounds, dividend they paid themselves in 2005, during the glory days of their business. Green told The Guardian at the time that the dividend stemmed from a seven-and-a-half-year loan to Arcadia, and was not rinky-dinky funny money. The couple could, however, end up dipping into their personal wealth to settle some of Arcadia's bills, just as they were forced to do in 2017 amid public and political scrutiny over Green leaving the UK.